my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. Today I'm doing a roundup of all of my Sephora VIB sale picks. Every time the sale rolls around, I usually like to do a roundup of all of my favorites, all of the skincare and makeup that I've been loving, especially because we all know Sephora doesn't really have sales that often, but when that time of the year does come around, I do like to stock up on all of my goodies. So in this video, I'm going to share some of my top skincare and makeup picks and share some of the things that I've been eyeing slash things I might pick up myself. So before we go ahead and jump to the video, first make sure you're subscribed. Also hit that little notification bell, join the notification squad. Oh, wait, 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 okay. Let's first talk about the sale, shall we? So on Sephora's website, the sale starts on April 9th until the 19th. If you're a Rouge, you'll get 20% off from the 9th until the 19th. If you're a VIB, you'll receive 15% off from the 13th until the 19th. And then insiders just get a couple of days, but they get 10% off. So I'm actually VIB. I feel like I'm lucky and I get a lot of PR, but if I didn't and I end up purchasing a lot of the stuff myself, I would probably be like above rouge if possible because I love skincare, I love makeup, you guys already know. So this time of the year is a great time to pick up on things that you've been wanting to get, things that are a little bit more expensive because you are getting a sale off of your entire purchase. So anyways, there's a lot here, enough babbling. Let's start with the skincare. <sighs> there's a lot of products, okay? There's a lot. I tried to pick some things that I haven't really talked about before just so it's not super redundant. So if you're interested in any of my other picks, I'll go ahead and link my last Sephora VIB sale recommendations. And then I also have a 2020 favorites video. I'll go ahead and link all those videos down below as well in the description box in case you wanna check those out today. A batch of all new products, a lot of the stuff that I haven't even talked about on YouTube that much. So I have a lot of new stuff that I'm super excited to talk about. First thing that I wanna talk about is an oil cleanser. This is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I feel like I hardly talked about this oil cleanser on my page. You guys know I love double cleansing. I double cleanse every single night just because it gets all of the makeup, SPF all off, and I feel like it really deep cleans my skin. This Dermalogica one is really, really good. I actually reached for this one just as often as my pharmacy green clean. You guys know I'm obsessed with that cleansing bond. That'll be forever my holy grail, but this one is really good. It feels very, very high end. I've talked about this cleanser in like every single favorites video. You should know by now that I love this. This is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser. I've been through so many bottles of this. It does such a good job of deep cleaning your skin without stripping it. I use it AM, PM every single day. When I'm breaking out, I always go back to this, so. Always a must have. I also do have a First Aid Beauty discount code, Christine15, and you can use that year round if you want. But if you want to get your Sephora points, now's a great time to pick that up. I am a toner ho. And I feel like this is one of my favorite steps of my skincare routine because it does a really good job of like targeting the texture and the breakout. So like I said, I do have oily acne prone skin. So we're gonna start off with a brand new toner. This one is one that just launched and I started using it. You guys may already know, but I'm actually a partner in this year's Sephora squad. This video is not sponsored. It's just, I love sharing all of my favorites and I feel like this is a great time to share all that. So this is the Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner. This is an exfoliating yet hydrating toner and it is a dual phase situation so you do have to shake it up but it just makes my skin look so smooth and glassy like this really is glass skin in a bottle and it also contains like chemically exfoliating ingredients so it makes my skin feel super super soft and it targets any of the breakouts and texture I may have but it still has hydrating ingredients as well so that dual face helps to soothe and hydrate my face so it does everything that I need. This toner makes me want to explore the brand a little bit more. Another toner, you should know, I love this. I haven't used it in a while because I was trying out other toners, but this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Paula's Choice is actually now at Sephora, so that makes me so excited because I love this brand so much, and I feel like their pricing is not super expensive. This is one of my favorite toners of all time. If you have acne-prone skin and you suffer from breakouts, texture, you need 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 this i've gone through so many empties of it i ha always have to have one in my collection at all times i use it like every other night i like to be like gentle with my skin another toner i love that i'm running out i believe this is my second one this is the glow recipe watermelon glow pha and bha pore tight toner this has a really like thick jelly texture when you first put it on it like 
has a really funky texture, so it takes a while to get used to. All of my toners, I pour it directly into my hands and pat it into my skin because it does the same thing as if you were to do it on like a cotton round or whatever, but it just saves product. And this toner also is very exfoliating yet hydrating. I love this. I love Glow Recipe as a brand and they're also clean at Sephora. Next, You To The People Dream Eye Cream. I feel like at first when I used this, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it, but the more I used it, the more I just kept going back to it. It just has a really like whipped, super lightweight texture and it just absorbs so quickly into my under eyes. And you guys know I love me a good eye cream and this one just is ultra hydrating and makes my under eyes look really like refreshed. It's not as hydrating as like my pharmacy do it all or any of the other eye creams I like love love, but this is a really great lightweight everyday eye cream. The texture of it to me is what makes it so special because it's so like airy. These are two really good acne fighting serums. This one is an all over serum and this is a spot treatment. So I get asked a lot if you can use both of these together. And yes, you can because this one I'll use like every other night just to kind of keep any of my blemishes and texture under control. And if I have any really big breakouts, any like pesky pimples I want to get rid of, this is like a spot treatment. So this one you do all over and this one is more of like a targeted spot treatment situation. So this is the Peace Out Acne Serum. I've gone through so many of these. This is actually an empty. I need to go get another one. One of my favorite acne serums of all time. It's super, super effective. And then this is a Bloom Meltdown Oil. This is just one of my favorite spot treatments of all time. It makes my blemishes go away, but it doesn't dry out my skin, which is great. If I want to apply makeup on top or anything, I don't have any of those like dry, flaky areas like you know sometimes when you use a spot treatment and it just like overly dries an area out and then makeup just doesn't look good on top of it this doesn't do that because it is an oil so i talk about this so much i love this next i have a couple of moisturizers this one actually surprised me this is the lord jones acid mantle repair cbd moisturizer i'm almost out of this and for me to like have an empty of something, that tells you how much I was loving it. This is a really great ultra hydrating but still calming and soothing moisturizer. But whenever my skin is having issues, I just go back to this moisturizer because it does everything that I need it to. It's like super hydrating, super calming. It doesn't have any extra ingredients that I don't need. It's fragrance free. And so I just, I really, really love this moisturizer. Lord Jones is an expensive brand and they mainly do CBD actually. So I believe this is like one of their few skincare products, but I actually love this. I wanna go ahead and say that this is one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. Another moisturizer I've been loving is this Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Hydrating Moisturizer. But this is actually like a really good moisturizer. It has a really good like lightweight texture that absorbs really quickly into the skin. And I just love the whole like mushroom, mega mushroom line that Origins has. You guys know I love the toner. This is a really great everyday moisturizer. It's a little bit more lightweight than the Lord Jones is. So if you have oily skin like me, I think you'll absolutely love this if you have dry skin this will probably be a warmer weather moisturizer for you maybe like a daytime situation but it might not be as hydrating enough for you i'm almost done with skincare next i have the pharmacy honeymoon glow this is actually my second bottle it took me so long to go through my first one just because like with this stuff you only need one pump every once in a while. I probably use this once a week and it really helps to target any of the texture that I have. It helps to make my skin look so radiant. It is just like magic in a bottle. It makes my skin look incredible. So I absolutely cannot live without this. It also contains honey, which I feel like is a little bit soothing and calming to my skin, but it still has those acids that help to really exfoliate. Next, I have two SPFs. If you guys watch my little SPF roundup video, you guys know I'm sunscreen obsessed. I wear sunscreen every single day and these are the two that I've been reaching for a lot recently just because these are both moisturizer sunscreen like combos. It's just super easy when I'm running super late or running out the door and I quickly need to hydrate and apply my SPF. I have really oily skin, but these don't make my skin over oily or like too hydrated, you know what I mean? So I've been really enjoying these. First one is the Paula's Choice Youth Extending 
Daily Hydrating Fluid. This is SPF 50. I'm almost out of it and I have a backup. Paula's Choice is now carried at Sephora, like I said. So now is your chance to hop on the sunscreen. There's no white cast. It absorbs super quickly. It just is everything that I need in a sunscreen, but it's also very, very hydrating. So if you have dry to normal skin, I think you'll absolutely love this. But my oily skin girls, if you just want to like cleanse and tone and throw something really quick and easy that has SPF in it, this is a really, really great sunscreen. Another moisturizer SPF that I've been loving is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer SPF 30. So this one doesn't have quite as much coverage as a Polish Choice one does, but this one is actually refillable. So when I run out, all I need to do is buy another little pump situation. This moisturizer is super hydrating but it makes my skin look so glowy and incredible every time I wear this alone I get compliments on my skin so it makes my skin look amazing the only thing is it's SPF 30 so if you're gonna be spending like extensive amount of time in the Sun obviously wear SPF 50 this is a mask and this is Ren skincare glycolic lactic radiance renewal mask I don't use masks that often but when I do mask, I do really, really enjoy this. This one does make my skin tingle just because it does contain so many actives that really exfoliate my skin. But it, once I wash it off, it leaves me with the glowiest, brightest looking, smooth skin. And I just, I love this mask. I've become a bigger and bigger fan of Ren skincare. I really like their glycolic toner as well. I talked about that in my favorites video and I believe in my last VIB recommendation video, but I'm a huge fan of their skincare and this mask is really, really, really good. Next, we have some peel pads. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Daily Peels. This is a whole box from Sephora and these are expensive, but I love that they come individually wrapped. It's a two-step situation, so they're just like little soaked towelettes that you like wipe all over your face it makes my skin look incredible especially if you don't have time for like a mask mask this is super quick and easy it only takes like three to four minutes and you can sleep with it on so it's super convenient if you're wanting to splurge and you've been wanting to try these peel pads i believe this is like one of the brand's best sellers definitely worth a try i love these next we have makeup i have a cc cream that i picked up and started using again recently this is the it cosmetics cc cream this is in the shade medium tan this is my perfect shade i forgot about how much i love this it is like a mix between a tinted moisturizer and the foundation so it does give you a little bit more coverage but it's still super comfortable this is great for every day and it does contain SPF 50 as well. So I've been reaching for this a lot. This lasts me all day. I only have to touch like once, which is amazing. I just love how amazing it makes my skin look. Another face product I've been using is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I've been using this a lot, mainly on TikTok, just because it has such good, like quick coverage. It has a little rollerball situation and you just like click it and it disperses up here. So I have the shade medium. It fits me really nice and I love that this gives me light to medium coverage. It's so easy to use, the packaging is so cute. It just looks really pretty on the skin and I really enjoy it. Then I have a couple of concealers. I feel like every single one of these videos, I always have a ton of concealers to recommend because I love concealers. Oftentimes I skip the foundation altogether and just use a concealer. So this one right here is the Hourglass Concealers. This is Vanish Concealer and I have the shade Beach and Apricot. Apricot has a little bit more of a peachy tone. So I like that for like correcting my under eyes, but Beach is more of a yellowy tone. So I use this for like all over. This is such a great great concealer it does everything that you need it to it has like medium coverage but it looks really pretty on the skin it's not cakey or anything like that it also doesn't crease as much on my under eyes as much as some of my other concealers do this is expensive and i think this time of the year is a perfect time to pick this up the applicator is also like really really nice this is like one of my favorite parts of it it's kind of like a unique doe foot applicator but it gets a good amount on my under eyes and it gives me that like precision as well i love high-end makeup i love bougie makeup and hourglass is just one of those brands that i feel really expensive when i use it you know 
Another concealer that I really love is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This concealer is ultra creamy. It gives me a good amount of coverage and it just looks really, really good on my skin. I feel like they both give me the same amount of coverage, but the Hourglass is just a little bit thicker. This one is ultra creamy. It blends out so easily and I have the shade Medium that is like perfect for me. No one talks about this, but I love this concealer. Cream blushes, I just have a couple. Tower 28 makes my favorite cream blush formula ever. I believe one of these is like 20 dwellers, which is so reasonably priced, but they came out with some new shades. This is Magic Hour and this is Power Hour. This is one of the original shades that launched first and I use this one a lot, but now that Power Hour has, has come out, I've just been reaching for this one so much more. This is Magic Hour on my skin. You can see it kind of is just like a peachy nude, but I love how Power Hour shows up on my skin. It just makes me look so flushed and glowy and these cream blushes blend out so easily they last all day and they're so reasonably priced and the packaging is really really cute so definitely definitely recommend these another cream blush that i wanted to talk about is the patrick ta double take cream and powder blush this is in the shade she's so la this is my perfect blush shade okay if i were to make my own blush shade i would make it exactly in this color so Swatched it right here. It's like the perfect like burnt apricot color. It's almost like a mix between these two Terra 28 shades. It's the perfect blush color and the fact that it comes with like a matching powder blush is perfect. I always layer a powder blush on top of my cream blushes just because I do have oily skin and I want it to last all day. And I love that this duo comes with both. It is a perfect shade for my skin tone and it's just so beautiful. Formula is gorgeous and you guys know I'm obsessed with Patrick Ta and I've been using this one a lot. Speaking of Patrick Ta, I have the clear brow wax here. I feel like I was talking about this every single day since I got it and I got so many messages from you guys. Even some of the reviews on the website mentioned that I influenced them to buy it, which is amazing. This is the brow wax that got me into brow waxes. I used to only pencil in my brows and that's it, but because of this brow wax, I can't do my brows without running a brow wax or brow gel through them. It just makes my brows look so bushy. This brow wax is incredible. It's gonna sell out, so you should get it before it sells out because it is amazing. I also have it in the brown color. I prefer the clear just because you can be super messy with it and it doesn't leave any like streaks or anything like that on your face. This is one of my favorite makeup products this year already and I cannot say enough good things about this. It just makes me look forward to doing my brows every single day. I have some Cover FX compacts here and my girlfriend Rainier actually got me into these. These are the Cover FX monochromatic duos and they have bronzers and blushes. This is a bronzer in the shade Sun Kiss Bronze but it's just such a pretty palette. In here you get like a matte shade and a shimmer shade and I just feel like these are so versatile. They are so blendable. The pigmentation is amazing. I love blush. I love bronzer and these duos are just so stinking pretty. These are some of my most reach for makeup products in my collection since I got them a couple of months back. And so I really, really enjoy this bronzer. You can mix both shades and you get kind of a different effect. This blush shade is in the shade Spice Cinnamon and then this one is in the shade Warm Honey. Both super pretty, so versatile, and especially for blushes, I love kind of a shimmery blush. So I like mixing the both of these. It's super pigmented, blends out beautifully, and it just lasts all day. I cannot say enough good things about this and especially if you have been like kind of curious about trying them out, it has my sample of approval. Next, I have two more bronzers to quickly talk about. This is the NARS Matte Laguna Bronzer. I feel like everyone and their mother talks about this bronzer. The formula is incredible. It's one of my favorite bronzers I've ever tried ever just because it's so pigmented, but it blends out so easily. It just is a perfect tone and color too. So it does a really good job of like bronzing and contouring my face. And I've also used it so much and have hardly even touched it. So I feel like this is gonna last me a really, really long time. Packaging is also stunning. I love NARS makeup. I did a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup, but I got this bronzer after I filmed that video. This bronzer is incredible. If I use this in that video, it probably would have made it to my top three because it is so 
blendable. It reminds me a lot of the NARS bronzer, but it's not quite as pigmented, which is a good thing, especially if you are a beginner. It's something that you can really build up, but it blends out really easily. It has a really good tone. I have it in the shade 2 medium. Look how big this thing is. It's freaking huge. These hourglass palettes are amazing. Like I said, I love hourglass makeup and these palettes are kind of expensive, but this time of the year is a perfect time to pick up one of these. But inside you get some like setting powders. You have like a highlight, some blushes and a bronzer. Every year they kind of change it up a little bit, but it's always the same type of format. And I think that this palette is absolutely gorgeous. The baked blushes are super pretty. The bronzer gives me like a really pretty glow that like no other product can imitate and I just think these products are so amazing. Let me just go ahead and quickly swatch. You can also see that because they are baked, there's like some highlights that are swirled in there. So I don't know if these swatches are gonna do any justice, but this is the bronzer um, and the two blushes, but it is really, really buildable. So it's great if you're a beginner and you just are like getting to play with makeup. So I really love this palette. I love how big the mirror is and it just is really nice to travel with too, you know? This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade 2 Medium, and this is a really great all-over setting powder. I believe some people use this for powder foundation, but I never just use powder foundation on its own. So I actually use this to set my makeup whenever I am like touching up my makeup and it's like in the middle of the day and I have some oily spots. I'll go ahead and take a brush and use it to touch up, and it just makes my makeup look good as new. It is so finely milled. I've also seen people People take like a wet sponge and use this to like set their makeup. It makes my skin look absolutely airbrushed. It photographs really well. It looks really good in videos. It's expensive, but it is so worth the money because there's no other powder that does what this does. Almost done. We have the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. This is a really great setting powder that doesn't have any flashback. For me, it really rivals the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is also clean as Sephora and talc free if that's something that you care about, but just does a really good job of setting my under eyes and my makeup. Then we have a liquid eyeliner. I just have one and this is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is what I use to do my eyeliner, eyeliner today. And because of the really fine brush tip, I feel like I can get those really thin hair-like strokes. It just makes doing my eyeliner so stinking easy. It's pigmented, it lasts all day and it doesn't smudge and it's pretty water resistant as well. The Sephora Collection Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner is also really, really good and that one's only $10 as well. My sister's obsessed with that one. Last product that I have to talk about is a setting spray. I'm not really into like primers and setting sprays. Sometimes I feel like they don't really do anything until I found this. This is the Benefit Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. <laughs> like it has such a, a fine mist. You're not gonna get any of those like droplets or watermarks on your face. And it just feels like a breath of an angel on you. And it sets my makeup, it makes it last all day. It kind of like makes my face look less powdery, but it still prolongs the wear of my makeup. So I really, really enjoy this. I have two quick hair things to talk about. These are actually hair tools from T3 and this Blow dryer is amazing. Not only is it really, really pretty, but it dries my hair really fast. It's really quiet and I've been reaching for this a lot lately and these tools are expensive, but with the sale, you do end up saving a lot of money if you've been looking for a new hair dryer. I highly recommend T3. I love their heat styling tools and I just really like this hair dryer. I also do have a discount code that works year round if you want to pick these up outside of the Sephora sale. <laughs> and then I also have the hair curler. This is actually the Lucia one, so it's like a touchscreen situation, but I use it to curl my hair. So easy to use, and because it is like a ceramic situation, it just doesn't damage my hair as much. My hair still feels really, really healthy, even after like styling my hair multiple times a week. And this curler is just so easy to use. It gets really, really hot. There's a lot of heat settings as well, and so I love T3 tools. If you've ever been thinking about getting their heat tools, now is a great time. That is it. There's a lot of products that we talked about. I feel like my throat is 
raw. That is the end of today's video. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I talked about down below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission. So if you do choose to shop through those, it does help to support me. So I do greatly appreciate that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs it up if you like these like roundups and favorites videos. So I know you want to see more, but that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.